Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, another scouting mission in another woodland in Cheshire and in today's video I want to talk about the importance of just practice in landscape photography and why it is important to go out and take photos without the expectation of actually finding anything worthy to shoot. So let's talk a bit more about that. Now this idea of practice in photography is something that is really important. I mean, especially for us landscape photographers, we should really just be wanting to get out into the outdoors just to train our eye to hunt for compositions because being prepared is going to be vital because when you do get those conditions where the subject is great, the lighting is great, you want to be ready to be able to take that photo you want to have your eye sort of honed in whether that is an eye for composition an eye for settings and a good technical knowledge and the only way that we're going to get all of those aspects of our skill set is to kind of come out and keep practicing and keep shooting and keep observing observation is really important probably the most important thing So although I said it's pretty good to practice and just come out without any expectation of actually finding a shot, I've actually found a really beautiful shot behind me of this really gorgeous tree with all of this green moss just covering all of the branches on the trunk. And I definitely think that it's worth a photo. So I'm gonna compose this. It's gonna be a pretty easy composition. Um, there's some nice light coming through the canopy, which is just helping illuminate some of that moss. And it's a fairly easy one to compose, just having the tree as the main subject, making sure to not get the sky in the shot as much as possible, and just trying to frame the tree in a way where the branches are filling the frame in a nice, pleasing way. So let's take a look at this shot. Now, one of the best things about observing the landscape and the areas that you go to visit is that it will actually make you more efficient when you're in the field, when you do get those conditions to take the perfect photo. Because, well, you'll just be used to the process, being observant, being able to look at things very clearly, just means that when you do find those unexpected moments of light, you're gonna be much quicker at finding those compositions because it's fleeting, light comes and goes, and you need to be ready for that. So this next composition is just behind me here, and it's basically a cluster of different trees which include different textures and different shapes. Now, it's a slightly tricky one to compose because I wanted to make sure that each branch within each tree has its own space to breathe within the frame. I don't want any trunks or branches that are intersecting other ones because that's the most difficult thing with woodland photography is that uniformity in that sense of space. So you've got these two trees on the left and right, and then this kind of like S-shaped branch in the middle. So plenty of balance. I'm to shoot it at about F11 just to get everything in focus, which has given me a pretty slow shutter speed. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will be a nice photo. So if it is, it'll be on screen now. So this area of the forest is a prime example of how being observant now and sort of banking this as a bit of a scouting mission to train the eye a little bit is basically understanding that this would be great if there was mist 
and something to like diffuse all of the light because you have all of this great uniformity in all of these trees but right now there's too much sky in the frame which we want to eliminate and having some nice fog would basically just create so much more separation and so much organization within the frame so things like that are important to look out for So this next shot is one that has kind of a few elements that I enjoy and this comes from observation. Now you'll see that I'm following the trail here. So the trail actually goes around this big tree in the centre. You have the trail to the left and then you also have the trail to the right. And there's some interesting logs on the floor which are kind of like leading lines to show where the trail is. And I've included the top of the trail in the sort of top corner of the frame just to kind of lead the eye into that area and to leave a bit of mystery, you know, where does that trail go? And this is why observation is quite important because I feel right now conditions might not be perfect for this shot, but if we had some mist in the background obscuring the end of the trail and sort of adding some nice depth and some nice atmosphere, then that would take the shot from being something that is okay to something that could be really good. So important to bank this, observe it, and seek out the conditions that might excite you for future visits. Aeroplane. So I'm back home now just reviewing the photos from that little scouting mission that we've just been on and you know what I am pretty happy with what I've taken and I just know that in better conditions these shots will be just taken to the next level so I just wanted to summarize in this little outro because I don't feel looking back at the footage that I might have explained the kind of point of this video in enough detail so basically the whole premise of this and the whole point of this video is basically just to demonstrate the importance of just going out with your camera and practicing the art of taking photos both from a compositional point of view in terms of just scouting locations being mindful of your environment and keeping an eye out for things that do catch your eye and also practicing the technical aspect of photography in terms of learning your camera understanding your settings because this constant repetition and this constant practice is gonna basically put you in good stead in the long run because when you do get those great opportunities for photographs both compositionally and in terms of conditions whether that's light or atmosphere by going through all of these steps and by going through this process of just observing the landscape and becoming more well versed in how to use your equipment you're setting yourself up for better opportunities to take great photos because you're just going to be more ready, you're going to be quicker at finding compositions, and you're going to be able to take full advantage of all of those great conditions when they come around. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this topic. Do you go out and just practice photography without the expectation of necessarily finding any great shots and just going out enjoying the landscape, enjoying the environment, and in, more importantly, just enjoying the process of taking photos, regardless of whether we're actually going to get anything decent at the end of it. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'm really enjoying making these videos. I want to keep them coming every week. So would love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts on the topic, on the photos in the video. I know this week they are nothing special, but certainly the more I go out, the more videos that I make, I definitely feel like I'm going to get some good photos soon, so make sure to stick around. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content on the channel. Make sure to ring the bell to get notified of when that new content, when those new videos go live. And I will see you all next week for another video.